like it's all clear. Stand down.
Don't we have to come early? You know they'll be late. <coughs> if you ever find yourself with a hot lead, we will do our best to protect your anonymity. Can I help you? You've got my attention. What's this so-called story about? All right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. Of course. I just hope your source is as reliable as you think they are. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. <laughs> Wrong. The execution matters just as much. Something you should have learned by now. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. 
So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Citizens of New Atlantis were shocked today when an unidentified assailant left several dead at the Infinity LTD building. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barrett for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom. So, this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. <coughs> Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. That's certainly our hope. Any employee with a sense of drive is sure to show themselves. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. I know you can as well. So now, you're fully aware of my expectations. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. I've got my eye on Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? <coughs> I think we both know that's not going to work. Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Oh? Your response tells me Masako must have given you similar advice. It'd be unlike her to not fully exploit an advantage, especially when she believes acquiring Infinity is the right thing to do. Uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good, and we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind, this should make for an interesting meeting. You and me both. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. I hope you're enjoying your new Neuroamp. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, that's great. 
I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. <coughs> Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. I'd be the next Ray Dakaris, my childhood hero and mentor. How amazing would that be? Demarcus, eat your heart out. Don't tell him I said that. He knows I love and respect him. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? That's what I'm hoping for. They may be the underdog, but that doesn't mean they don't have a brilliant mind or two. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. If only there were more hours in the day. If you need something, make it quick. I'd like to make sure my arguments are solid before this meeting. Not much to discuss there. I believe I've made my case quite clear to Masako on why I am against it. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. A certain amount of confidence during the negotiations would go a long way in this situation. The benefits definitely exist, it's just, are they worth the risk? Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Unfortunately, half my department's been poring over documentation, while the other half is writing up what legal guidance they can. Nice to know someone is. Everyone's too busy praising its completion to think about the dangers it could represent. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. Tech like this only has good applications when you have complete control over who uses it. Once that tech hits a market, open or private, that control is gone. And not only that, the tech is out there to be advanced or modified by anyone who might get their hands on it. Because the external neuroamps are built to help the user on a personal level. They aid in reason, communication, confidence, all things that can make the difference in a person's self-image. And yes, they can be abused. But that's why there are laws regarding improper usage. In an ideal situation, yes. And I suppose creating that ideal situation is within my power. Hmm. Now you've made it sound like a proper challenge that I can't help but accept. Masako is lucky to have you at her disposal, you know? You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful, but now I really do need to get back to my notes. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. 
I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. That blasted tech. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk, and look what happened. Completely. I understand the success it can bring for the Corporation, but my only concern here is security. It's not that the board majority fails to see the dangers, it's that they believe we can overcome them. That hubris could easily bring this Corporation down one day. I only hope it won't be on my watch. It's not often, but yes. And I'm not the only board member that initially voted against moving forward with the research. Hmm. Now I suppose you're right. As long as I'm fully aware of the risks, I can properly account for them. My first priority will be to get the board and all security members set up with shielding as soon as possible. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents <coughs> this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. Looking interesting today. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. <laughs> Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Saving the jobs of thousands is altruistic, which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. Perhaps I wanted to see if I could be convinced otherwise. It's easy to say, it's the right thing to do, for someone in your position. But for me, Infinity LTD is a huge financial unknown. It's high risk versus mediocre reward. This is true. Infinity never had the financial resources to match our salary offers. Getting what few capable employees they have at half the salary we typically pay here could have major payoffs in the long run. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? And why do you feel it was well handled? Please note I'm not disagreeing. I just want to know the why behind your statement. I agree. Should Masako had informed us too early, we may have all turned on each other. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. It's the next big step for Ryujin Industries. Financially, it'll keep us secure for years to come. 
There's no doubt it's our future. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? In this business, there's always a side. And right now, I'm backing Masako. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. Sounds like you've got a bit of your own agenda going on. Well, let's hear it. <laughs> Don't I know it. I think Alexis and I are truly gonna have our work cut out for one another. We'll discuss security ramifications with Dalton, and I'm sure there are alterations, safety nets, if you will, that we'll need from Vina. It's sure to be quite the undertaking. Well. It seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. As you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial. And he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. That, and Infinity LTD's current situation, makes them more affordable than ever. Arguments? None? Excellent. Moving on, then. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. 
Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security, escort Miss Chen to her office, and see that she stays put. You'll regret this. All of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right. Back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Aye. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? If there's nothing else, this meeting is concluded. I'll be following up with a few of you shortly. So much work to do. I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. So, Infinity LTD learned a lesson the hard way, and we exposed the traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. Of course, but these particular assignments required a certain secrecy that most do not. I truly appreciate the work you put into exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. I hope that enthusiasm sticks with you for the foreseeable future. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to Senior Operative. You've more than earned it. And also, your opinion. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. My company's future might be riding on this deal. Hey there. certainly shaken things up around here. I still can't believe Ularu tried to frame me. An obvious misjudgment on my part. But now that's all in the past. It's time to get back to your typical day-to-day. -day. And I'd say it's good to be back if I hadn't returned to a mountain of paperwork. Now, since you were new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. 
The board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together, and I've approved. Questions? Nothing you aren't already familiar with. You experienced the majority of what we do here during your training, if you recall. Uploading a few files, manipulating a narrative or two, obtaining schematics, adds just more of the same. I wish. Assignment approval isn't exactly riveting work. With your promotion, you've earned yourself an office, so whenever you're ready, you can find your own personal mission board inside. And the best perk of them all, you're free to make your own hours. Oh, and uh, congratulations, of course. You certainly will. Go check out the board, and if you have any questions, I suppose I can start up an open door policy just for you.
Talk to me, my dear friend. I'm here for you, my love. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's always good to see a friend. Let's see what's out here. Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. Glad you're in the fleet. If you would, I would have killed you already. Does the UC really think system scares us? without our suits.
picked up something you might be interested in. This incident as the second time I've saved you. It's not a competition, Sam. Sure it isn't. So there's that time at the asteroid belt, the one on Neon. So, um, I still owe you three, Lillian. Four. You always forget that cargo freighter with the explosives. Four. Definitely four, then. But, uh, Captain, in all seriousness, your help is appreciated. Next time I want to come to the rescue. Is Cora on board? Mom! Oh, babe girl. It's so good to hear your voice. Can we come over and visit? Sadly not now, honey. I'm still on the clock. Prime never sleeps. <sighs> At this point, I'd settle for a cat nap. I am planning a proper vacation one day. I hear Paradiso was nice. Is this the famous vacation you've been planning since before I met you? Always with the wisecracks. Captain, nice moves. It's good to know my daughter's in good hands. What about me? What about you, Sam? I'm kidding, kidding. You always said I need to have a better sense of humor. Uh, forget I ever mentioned that. <laughs> Take care. Look like this.